Hi, I am Mohan. Uh, in this video, I'll explain how to write the CNC milling part program for the given geometry. Okay, as the tough turning here also, the first step is uh, writing the coordinates. Okay, in case of milling, the coordinates are x comma, y comma, z. Okay, x is along x axis, y is along y axis, and z is the depth. Okay, first uh, let us write the coordinates. And you can see, okay, at this point. Uh, the coordinates are 0 comma 0 okay this is a reference point from this point I'm going to measure all the dimension therefore x value is 0 and y value is 0 okay at this point the x value is 120 plus 5 plus 5 that is 130 and z value is 0 okay at this point the x value is 130 and y value is also 130 okay at this point x value is 0 and y value is 130 okay now let us write the coordinates for the profile which is given inside the the work material okay at this point you can see the x value is 5 and y value is 5 okay in the profile they have given this is radius is 25 therefore from this point to this point the value will be 50 that is from this point to this point okay this is 50 okay 120 minus 50 is uh, 70 70 divided by 2 is 35 35 therefore from this point to this point the dimension is 35 and from this point to this point the dimension is uh, 35 now write the coordinates okay this point okay x value is 5 and y value is 5 okay at this point x value is 35 plus 5 that is 40 and y value is 5 okay at this point the x value is 40 plus 50 that is 90 and y value is 5 okay at this point x value is uh, uh, 90 plus 35 that is 125 and y value is 5 Again at this point x value is 125 plus y value is 5 plus 35 that is 40. At this point x value is 125 y value is 40 plus 50 that is 90. Okay, at this point x value is 125 and y value is also 125. Okay, at this point x value is you can see x value is 90 and y value is 125. At this point x value is 40 y value is 125 at this point x value is 5 and y value is 125 at this point x value is 5 and y value is 90 at this point x value is uh, 5 and y value is 40 ok now we have written the coordinates for all the points now the second step is we have to assume the billet you can see the maximum dimension along x axis is 130 and maximum direction dimension along y axis is 130 Therefore, the billet dimension is 130 into 130 and uh, you can see the side views given thickness we required is uh, 20 mm. I am going to assume the billet uh, more than that. I am going to assume 25 mm thickness. Okay, while doing face milling, I am going to remove 5 mm material so that I will get uh, 20 mm material at the end. Okay, now what are the operations to be performed? The first we have to do face milling. In face milling, I have to remove 5 mm material, and for that, I'm going to use the first tool that is a T01. And one more difference between turning and milling, you can see in turning uh, we had a T followed by four digit number, but in milling we have T followed by only two digit number. Okay, second operation, the profile is given. Profile milling is required. Profile milling. For profile milling, I'm going to use a T02 tool, second tool, and drilling is given. Finally, we have to do drilling. For drilling, I'm going to use the third tool that is T03 tool. Okay, now let us write the program. Okay, the first line is G21, that is all dimensions in mm or metric units. Okay, G99 here feed rate unit is mm, uh, mm per minute. Okay, G40 that is cutter compensation cancel and the G90 we are using absolute dimension system that is only one reference point that is 0 comma 0. From that point we are going to measure all the points. Okay, in the second line switch on the spindle that is M03. Set the speed let it be 1500 RPM and switch on the coolant okay, that is M08. Okay, the first operation is face milling select the tool M06 T01. Okay, in milling after selecting the tool we have to define the tool length that is G43. Uh, which tool? Tool number 1, therefore H01. Okay, let it be Z20. That is length of the tool will be 20 mm. Okay, if you want, you can change the value. Now choose the reference point. You can say this is 0, 0. That means uh, this is in uh, second part, uh, first quadrant. I'm going to assume one reference point in the second quadrant somewhere here. That dimension will be 
30 from 0, 0.0 that is minus 30 and y value let it be 30 okay this is the point I'm going to choose as a reference point that is minus 30 comma 30 okay now select the reference point to select the reference point the code codes or G90 that is absolute dimension system we're using and the G00 rapid traverse tool comes to that reference point the reference point choosing code is G54 and reference point will be x minus 30 y 30 okay this is the code we are going to use choose the reference point g90 g00 g54 x minus 30 y 30 okay now we have to do face milling as i said we have to remove 5 mm material okay in order to remove 5 mm material i am going to use two pass method okay in first pass i am going to remove 2.5 mm in the second pass i am going to remove 2.5 mm okay then i am i am going to assume depth of cut as 2.5 mm okay in the first pass the total material is 5 mm okay that has to be removed and uh, depth of cut is 2.5 mm therefore uh, z value in the first pass is uh, 2.5 okay in the second pass 2.5 mm material is remaining and the depth of cut is uh, 2.5 okay in the z value in the second point will be 0 okay remember this value z 2.5 in the first pass z value is 0 in the second pass okay now i'm going to give 2.5 depth that is g01 z value is uh, 2.5 feed rate let it be 200 mm per minute okay since i'm doing uh, i'm removing the material in two pass i'm going to use sub program method call the sub program that is m98 okay sub program number will be p p followed by any number i'm going to assume 111 okay that is sub program number okay now leave some gap about uh, four to five lines then start the sub program sub program start with o that is sub program number Okay, we have assumed 111 as a sub program number. Use the same number 111. Okay, now uh, the tool is here. Okay, now the tool is here at the reference point and 2.5 mm depth is given. Now the move now move the tool from this point to this point. Okay, in order to move, we have to use a G00 and I'm using G90 that is absolute dimension system. G90, G00. Uh, what point x0 y0 with the feed rate of uh, 200 mm okay now the tool is here now i'm going to move the tool from this point to this point again that is linear okay g01 x 130 y0 okay uh, the billet is like this okay this is 0 comma 0 this is 130 uh, in along y axis also the dimension is 130 okay in one pass i can't remove all the material therefore now the tool is here i'm going to move the tool along y axis by 50 mm and the increment i'm going to give 50 mm that is g01 x 130 y 50 okay now the tool is here now i'm going to move the tool from this point to this point in this direction again that is linear g01 x value is 0 y value is 50 okay now the tool is here now i'm going to move the tool from this point to this point that is g01 x is 0 y is 100 okay now i'm going to move the tool from this point to this point that is g01 x is 130 y is 100 okay now the tool is here now i'm going to move the tool from this point to the last point uh, you can see the total dimension along y axis is uh, 130 uh, now we are left with only 30 mm move the tool to this point that is g01 x 130 y 130 Okay, now move the tool from this point to this point that is g01 x is 0 y 130 now we are removed all the material all over the surface okay this is the end point okay o is a starting point of sub program it should be ended with m99 that is end of sub program okay now the tool is here now we have to move the tool from this point to the reference point Okay, instead of moving directly first lift the tool that is g00 at what position at this position x is 0 y is uh, 130 now give some positive value for z let it be z5 now move the tool from this point to the reference point again g00 reference point is x minus 30 y 30 okay now the tool is in uh, reference point okay again give the depth okay in the second pause the depth of cut is 0 mm therefore g01 z0 feed rate let it be 200 mm per minute again repeat the sub program therefore m98 p11 okay this completes the facing cycle okay after facing we have to do uh, profile milling okay as that of turning here also we have to use the g28 that is send the tool to its home position before changing the tool now select the second tool that is m06 uh, t02 
okay after selecting the tool we have to define the tool length that is g43 h02 z value let it be 20 mm okay now again choose the reference point i'm going to choose the reference point in the second quadrant itself or uh, write the coordinate that is g90 that is absolute dimension system g00 rapid traverse g54 choose the reference point which is the press for x minus 30 y30 okay now the tool is in the reference point that is this point okay now the tool is here now i'm going to move the tool from this point to this point that is g00 x5 y5 okay now i'm going to give the depth uh, depth is not uh, given in the question i'm going to assume 5 mm therefore g01 z minus 5 with a feed rate of 200 mm per minute now the tool is here now i'm going to move the tool from this point to this point you can see this is linear use g01 uh, x value is 40 z value is 5 now the tool is here now we have to move the tool from this point to this point this is circular interpolation uh, in a clockwise direction therefore use g02 g02 x value is 90 uh, sorry x value is 90 this is y y value is 5 now tool is here and the radius value is 25 and feed rate let it be 200 mm okay now tool is here now move the tool from this point to this point again this is linear use g01 g01 x is uh, x is 125 y is 5 x is 125 y is 5 okay now tool is here now we have to move the tool from this point to this point again this is uh, linear Therefore, G01, X is 125, Y is 40. Now, tool is here. Now, we have to move the tool from this point to this point. This is circular interpolation in clockwise. Therefore, G01, X value is 125, Y value is 90. Radius value 25, feed rate 200. Okay, remember, if you use G02 or G03, you have to mention radius value on feed rate value. Okay, now the tool is here. Now, we have to move the tool from this point to this point. Again, that is linear g01 x 125 and y125 okay, now move the tool from this point to this point again that is linear g01 x is 90 y is 125 okay, now again we have to move the tool from this point to this point again that is circular interpolation use g02 g02 x value is 40 y value is 125 radius 25 feed rate 200 now we have to move the tool from this point to this point again that is linear the coordinates are 5 comma 125 g01 x is 5 y is 125 okay now we have to move the tool from this point to this point again that is linear coordinates are 5 comma 90 use g01 g01 x is 5 y is 90 now circular interpolation is there and coordinates are 5 comma 40 okay g02 x is 5, y is 40, radius value is 25 and feed rate 200. Okay, now again uh, we have to move the tool from this point to this point that is uh, linear traverse. The code is uh, g01, x5, y5. Okay, now profile milling is over. We have to send the tool to its reference point. Okay, before sending we have to lift the tool upwards that is g01, z let it be some 10 mm that is any positive value you can give. Feed rate let it be 200 mm. Now move the tool to its reference point G00 X minus 30 Y30. Okay, now the second operation that is the profile milling is uh, over. Use a G28 that is uh, send the tool to its reference point. Okay, now we are done with the profile milling and the last operation is uh, drilling. Okay, again select the tool M06 T03 third tool for drilling. Now define the tool length G43 H03 Z value let it be 20 mm. Now choose a reference point the code G90 G00 G54 but uh, remember for uh, drilling you have to choose uh, center of the hole as a reference point you can see the hole is here this, uh, the coordinates of this hole is uh, uh, 65 comma 65 therefore x value is 65 and y value is 65 now write the syntax for drilling that is g99 we have using a feed rate in mm per minute g81 is the can drilling cycle then z value that is depth of cut uh, in the side view it is given we have to drill a hole up to 10 mm therefore z value is a minus 10 then r value is 20 okay r is not radius here it's some constant and feed value let it be 200 mm Okay, now in the question they have given only one hole 
therefore the drilling is also over and we have to end the drilling cycle with the G80 that is end of can cycle then send the tool to its reference point that is G28 now switch off the spindle M05 switch on the coolant M09 and program stop thank you